Hello, welcome back to Frambo. I'm here at the graveyard, which is where I left off last time. Um, first, let's look around. And I can look inside the car, and there's something here, which is great. Uh, anything else I can touch? I can look at this stuff I've read before, so I don't have to do that. Okay, so apparently that's all there. What is this? Hello, stone woman, are you sleepy? We're gonna have to dig up all their graves and stuff, aren't we? It's your parents' first place and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, sir and for, for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the needle worms came already. Who? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find some shovels to dig. I'll go left, and you go right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here, all right? Yes, Dr. Duran. See you soon. Hmm. Still don't like I still don't like him. It's still creepy to me. Showing that we're all dead. Here with a lie like this one. Hello there, you must take care of my parents. Can I light the candle? I can. Cool. That's awesome. What's the lady sitting between her hands? Is it a little bug? There's enough already. Okay. Um. Is there anything more of these? Maybe nobody is down there. Yeah, unlikely. Stuck this must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Can I use this? Oh. You have to keep it down, Fabio. But I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. Tribes Collector, that sounds exciting. Right now we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the for the mating ritual. That's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Last year we used old human skin, but the diddleworms diddleworms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find find the leather. Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, chat miss. Just thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, all right, that miss? Who will I ever find a All right, I'll see what I can do. Do I have to cut up his car? Probably had to cut his car. I didn't even look at this, did I? Oh. Wow, it opened its keyhole. I don't know what could happen if I find the key. I wonder where the key is. That's a good question. I had to rip his car. That's the way to do it. Guy's actually not being a total dick ass. Um, tears let the tears car up. Um, with the Sebastian, the pine cone. Yay! Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our child, the pine sealess, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Yay. Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Alright, miss. Yes. 
Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, Jot Miss. Eh, Fabio? Fabio's running away. Oh, I have, I have to go, Miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. It jumped because I paused for a second, by the way. Because my cat's making horrible noises. He's attacking a door. Huh? There's nothing here I could use. So there's nothing here. After all that trouble. Hang on a second. Yeah, I had to get my cat's little piece of plastic back. That's why he was attacking a door. It went underneath the door. Um, so yeah, I had to fix that problem, because otherwise he would probably walk up by the house up. Oh, he's found the shovels. Look, there you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Sure. Why not? Let's dig up our graves. Hooray! Well, now we have a come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar inside my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend. But you could use it on to open the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll open them. Sure. Why not? The coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. That's her dad. Okay. Her mom. And the cat. Oh my goodness, father. The diddle took your eyes. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit, a bit too much, I would say. But that can't be my kitty. Because Mr. Midnight is home. Did you see that you'd bring us closer to your killer? No, sir, I just feel really bad about doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, the dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat cat was missing. And this may be the ac This one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. This shit's not in there. Quite obviously. Okay. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire. The one you desire to love you. Wow. Wow. Wow, this little girl. I want to know. I want to know. You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, In darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. And the final chapter, which is cool. Really want to find out what the crap's going on. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Benight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. It's easier to blame somebody else 
than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But angry, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend. Don't worry about the lies. The seeker of truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You are selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. She probably killed her parents. We don't know, though, yet. We'll see. Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why well, should strange? Why well, blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are tiny and soft. I hope he's fine, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound. It never stops. As I think about it, the clockmaker said the time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or am I just imagining things? But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said any everything is in, in my head. So what am I supposed to do exactly? Then I still chain me to the bed. My slippers. Use them when it's raining. Comics. I painted this once. The kitty and me. And the wind took all magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you were chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do, you, do I know you? I'm not a doggy. Yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You really are. You think so? This means that I managed to enter the alter, alter reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about it. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crash? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross in the alter reality is... To break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me to die is just a mental state. Then who are they? All the creatures that we see, the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why I can why we can see those things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we why we see these things? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I'll send you by Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. And Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess there's a difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. If it, it just happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. So I'm now I'm young, young friend. Or not. In her land of make believe, maybe? Didn't know. Guess we'll see. I really want to. Let's see the end of this. I'm getting really interested with the weird, weird, weird story. Let's see which key. It's locked. Must unlock with the power of a key. That won't fit. Let's try another one. Ah, it's unlocked. Awesome. Thank you so much, friend. Hee <laughs> hee. You really do have a lot of keys there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Paltris told me if we meet some day, she gives this to you. Here, I think this will help you open something. Paltris, you know him too? Wow, thank you. 
Yes, he also told me that if we mate, you should be ready for what's about to come. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see a doctor now. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad, bad nurse. She was lying out to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. No one. Nobody. I know it said nobody. Um... Let me look at all these things again. The little golden box. I was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pushed in my ears first twice to the left and once to the right. Rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. It has nothing to do with this. This is a box Pantris gave me. What should I do to open it? So many buttons to press. I don't know. Let's examine the room real quick. Oh. Oh, I can move things around in this house. This tells me lots of energy. A clothespin. Uh, I'm gonna keep this little piano. I love music. Uh, the door of the dollhouse. Is there anything else here? Something back there? I read the paper. What could it be? Um. Aha! Key. I bet I can unlock something. Oh. Uh. Where'd the key go then? Oh. Look here. Give me the. Give me. Get the key. <laughs> I think I need the key. Uh. Combine with you. It won't work, huh? Use. Go in here. Examine the cat doll. And use a key with it. Um, it won't do. Okay. Hmm. Well, no, well, I'm saying that might work. Since it's a room. Crane's Lady Gnome, Teddy, Ballerina. Yes, it's all in place. Time for a cuckoo clock. That looks interesting, isn't it? Look at all nasty creatures. Well, things have changed a little bit. You're going insane. And we'll go to continue this next time. As much as I really want to hurry through this game here now and see what's going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I have to go to work soon, so I'll have to quit for the moment. And next time I'll continue, and. I'll see what's going on. Until then, bye.